To me, choir is a safe place. Um, choir is a refuge. Choir is family. Choir is community. Choir is unique. Choir is educational. Choir is accepting. Choir is life changing. Choir is powerful. Choir is love. Choir is a safe haven. Choir is a lifestyle. Choir is waiting for you.
Good evening, everyone. Hello. My name is Brandon Catt, and I have the uh, pleasure and privilege of serving as the Fine Arts Department Chair and uh, the Director of Vocal Music, where I teach choir and hip-hop uh, here at Glenbard East. And it is so good to welcome you back to a concert at Glenbard East. Here we are. Now, uh, on, on, I also want to just quickly introduce my colleagues here, and we're going to do some thank yous right away here at the beginning, so then we can get to the music and roll on. Uh, but first of all, I just want to introduce my partner in crime and everything that we do here, uh, Ms. Marissa McLean, who also uh, serves not only as a choir teacher, a gu uh, guitar teacher, an orchestra teacher, uh, but also as our assistant activity director here at Glenbard East and does all the, the things. So she's, she's crazy busy because next week's homecoming week. So concert, homecoming week. Who scheduled that? I have no idea. Uh, but here we are. Uh, and and uh, would you all please say hello to Miss McLean? <laughs> Over at the keyboard, uh, we have to introduce uh, our, our friend and colleague who makes it all happen. This is Mr. Stephen New, our collaborative pianist. He's in every period of the classic us. Give it to credit. So we welcome you back to a concert at East, but we're not in Beaster Auditorium where we normally would be because Beaster Auditorium is currently under uh, construction. We are doing a lot of safety renovations in there, and we're hoping to be back in there by the time of the holiday concert. Fingers, right, Mr. Sousa? Holiday concert. <laughs> Fingers crossed. That's where we are. Uh, so we're excited about that. But I wanted to give you uh, uh, some other quick introductions uh, of some special guests that we have here. So first of all, over on this side, would you please give a great Glenbard East welcome to, first of all, Ms. Pam Mansky and Mr. Ross Gentry and their Marquardt Middle School Choir. Welcome, Mustangs. It's great to have you here and a lot of future Rams in the, in the bunch. We also have a student here tonight from Trinity Lutheran. We're so cl uh, glad to have her. So please welcome her from Trinity Lutheran to Glenbard East. Great to have you. And please join me in, in welcoming Ms. Deb Algram, who's coming back as a, an alum of Glenbard East High School, who's the choir director uh, with her Westlake Wildcat Choir. Everybody give it up for the Westlake uh, Wildcats. Good to have you guys. Always at these things, I, I just want to say a, a few a really crucial thank yous. Uh, Mr. Andrew Packer at the drum set, uh, one of our colleagues. Mr. Tim Fox, yes, Mr. Packer. <laughs> Mr. Tim Fox, our orchestra teacher, who I believe is here in the house tonight. Thank you, Mr. Fox. There he is. Thank you, sir. Uh, Miss Tara Capoletti, our director of bands, and of course, our incredible fine arts assistant, Miss Mary Laird, who makes it all happen. Uh, so thank you to her. We want to thank our, our building foreman, John Acosta, for all of his work, our administration, Mr. Anderson. I mentioned our assistant principal operations, Mr. Souza, who's with us here tonight. It is an incredible team of administrators right now here at Glenbird East. I could not be more proud to work on this team, and I want to thank them for all the support of the fine arts. And finally, we want to thank uh, GEMA, our, our Glenbird East Music Association, uh, under the, the, the leadership of Colette Lucetta Stendel an incredible group of people who do so much for our students in the means of scholarshiping, uh, uniform fittings, uh, helping with fundraisers, helping keep our kids fed, a lot of different things that they do. If you are not a member of GEMA, you need to be by the time you leave the, the premises tonight. You can meet them out in the foyer, you can buy some Glenbard East music gear, eighth grade parents, there's some good uh, graduation gifts out there for our future Glenbard East musicians, uh, and, and also sign up to be a member of our Glenbard East Music Association. We would love to see you on that list come holiday concert time. And then finally, I want to thank all of our families, all of our incredible parents, uh, guardians, uh, family members, friends, and all of these amazing students in front of me and behind me. Look at these great people. Would you give it up for all of them and all of you for all of your support of the arts? So this evening's concert is set up into groups, and so what we're doing is taking you on a walk through what a day in Glenbird East Choir looks like. And so right now we're in school. We're gonna be singing during school. We're gonna show you our curricular choirs. And so we'll go ahead and transition and have concert choir and chorale sit down. And we're gonna move over to our uh, uh, advanced treble choir, advanced baritone choir, treble choir, and baritone choir, which we're calling the stack. This is a lot of our, this is a non-audition choir, and our students who uh, begin in the program uh, most come into this class, which is important because for our eighth graders sitting here, this is the class that you'll be in next year in baritone choir or treble choir. And we wanna make sure that you sign up for that in December, because at East, 
Choir is a class where at Westlake and Marquardt it's a club or a homeroom that meets before or after school. It is a class we take. So when you sign up in December, make sure choir is on your schedule so you can do things like this, sing at three other concerts during the year, go on trips like we may be doing next year, hint, hint, uh, and uh, a lot of other really great opportunities. So without further ado, we'll jump into singing during school and feature first the stack singing speechless. Thank you very much. Tremble when you try it. How I know 
The circle be unbroken by and by, Lord, by and by. There's a better home awaiting if we try, Lord, if we try. We all can sing together. 
Good evening, everybody. It's so good to be back with you, as Mr. Cat said. Uh, so this was our singing during school portion. So there's so much going on, and we have so many offerings here at Glen Barnes during the school day for students to participate in. Um, and we use that in a variety of ways, as you just saw. This next portion, we're going to talk about what we do after school. So I actually like had to put a list of things down so I don't forget anything. I'm going to quickly gloss over uh, all of our offerings that we'll have this year. The cool thing is these things change from year to year based on student interest and what students want. So we try to listen to the student voice in our program and then uh, create things based off of what the students say they want. So this year, a few things that we'll be offering, just to give you an idea, something called Triple E, which is where we're going to have two-week intensive experiences for different styles of music, where just for those two weeks, we're not doing any other vocal music after school except that thing. Uh, so we're really excited to premiere that this year. That's brand new, again, at Student Feedback. We also have a co-curricular treble ensemble uh, that will be starting up actually just shortly after this concert in October. So that will be an extra vocal ensemble that rehearses after school. We do this really cool thing called Listening Club where students just get together and listen to music. Really fun. We have something called Ramparts, which is our group of students who sing the national anthem at our varsity sporting events and community events, volunteer events throughout, uh, throughout the area. And, um, a, and we also have musical chorus as well. So every other year right now, we are uh, doing a musical. And so students get to sing in our musical chorus after they audition and get placed into that, which is really exciting. Now, um, we are going to showcase a few things. So this first thing here is actually a recording. And um, I'm going to bring Charlie up. This is called the, the De La Cruz interlude. And uh, Charlie's one of, you've seen Charlie on the guitar tonight. You've seen him singing. Give it up for Charlie. He's been rocking over here. So Charlie is one of the founding members of this uh, this band called Infinite Monkey Theorem, and uh, also Simon is here, who is a guest artist on some of their uh, some of their music, which they released on Spotify last year. And I'm going to give Charlie a, a quick commercial here to talk about uh, how he like creates music and how this whole thing started. Uh, hi, my name's Charlie. Uh, basically, last year I joined uh, Glenbridge's Open Studio program, uh, where I met uh, Mr. Curry, like my favorite teacher of all time, and basically, uh, I mean, you learn a lot about, like, composition and how, like, music's created from, you know, classic music, modern, like, pop stuff, uh, and so during that time, me and my friends, you know, we started a band, released a little mini album, you know, EP thing, uh, and yeah, this is, this is that, so, yeah. All right, let's hear a little bit of it. I was feeling like I was like this close to death, bro, and then those tacos just picking me up, bro. So it's not. Thank you so much, Charlie, for letting me use your bathroom, bro. Thank you, boy. 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 Recorded and produced by these guys right here. And all through our, our open studio program. So students can, can do writing and recording and, and producing. And there's a couple other members of that band as well. Uh, one of which who's in choir but was unable to be with us tonight. But super cool that we, uh, that we get to have these guys in our program and creating through open studio. So thanks so much. Uh, give it up one more time. Infinite Monkey Theorem. And now you'll get to see two other pieces of our co-curricular program, and it's even better than me talking about it because you get to see them do things, which is awesome. So now you'll get to hear from the Eastwind Vocal Ensemble and Vocal Jazz Workshop.
There we are. While these guys are getting their mics and getting set up for vocal jazz, I just want to make sure to mention we had a, a mission from the program uh, on the Will the Circle trio. Uh, we also had Kristen Crisasimo singing alto on that. Would you give it up for Kristen? There she is. Right on cue. I also was going to say this to the end, but since we're, we're doing our mic thing over here, uh, I also have one more really important uh, uh, thank you that we wanted to wait on, but we'll do it right now, uh, And because uh, I know the students want to thank him. But we've had the pleasure and privilege of having a really terrific student teacher with us. You've seen him quite a bit tonight uh, working uh, and working with our students and what he's been doing over the course of the very beginning of the year. And he's with us for just a couple more weeks uh, from Luther College out in Iowa. We're really, uh, really pleased to have been working this year with Justin Knautz. Give it up for Justin. Mic check, mic check. Mic two, Linnea. Mic three, Gia Dagenhart. Mic two, mic two, mic two. Mic three. Linnea Walsh. Mic two, Soprano, mic two. Mic three, Gia Dagenhart. Woo woo woo. <laughs> mic eight. Check one, check one, check five. Mic six, check. Hello, hello, hello. Mic 10. Mic four. Mic four. Mic five. Check. 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 Mm -hmm. Mic four. Mic four. Mic eight. Mic five. Check. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Don't you worry. 
So now you've had a little glimpse into what happens after the school day, but now we want to talk to you about what happens outside of Glenbard East and all of these other opportunities that exist beyond these walls. So I'm going to throw a lot of acronyms at you here uh, in education. We love our acronyms. So first is ACDA, which is the American Choral Directors Association. This is an opportunity students have to audition for both regional and national choirs. So we have students who are in that audition process right now. Also ILMEA, the Illinois Music Education Association. Students can uh, participate in district festivals and at the state level in uh, traditional choral music, jazz, uh, composition, improv, remix. There's so many things to participate in in that level. And our next performer is actually someone who was selected for ILMEA Allstate last year, which afforded her the opportunity to audition for the NAFME or the uh, um, our national music uh, program. She was honored to be able to audition for the National Honor Choir. So uh, we are uh, keeping our fingers crossed that she can get into that National Honor Choir. So this is a student who um, also participates in private lessons as well. And that's another thing that we highly encourage our students to do if they can, just help students excel and really grow as fast as they possibly can. So we're now gonna hear from Linnea Walsh as she shares with us her national National Choir audition piece. Give it up for Linnea. Die Frau hat die Führer, die Teuer, die 
That then takes us to the best part of the night, which is joining the Voices of East. You've seen a little bit through our day what it looks like to be a little tiny bit of our pro uh, program. Now here's the future of our program, and we're excited to welcome uh, Westlake and Marquardt to do some singing with us. So let's go ahead and stand up, friends, all the way up. Very good. Give it up for these guys. Westlake and Marco, go ahead and turn around and face Mr. Knauts over there so we can sing a little Yonder Come Day. On the end here, we're going to ask that you join us in Rams Fight, if you know it, when we get there. We're going to run all the way through these next uh, pieces just consecutively following the concert. Glenbard East students will be processing out and going outside to meet their families in the parking lot. So I'm hoping that you've made those connections and heard about that today. And then our middle school students will stay here so middle school families can connect in the gym, but that way we can all distance a bit as we're trying to connect with our families following the concert tonight. And one more thank you, which is to our incredible sound team. This is a lot to do in the gym, and we couldn't do it without these guys. One of them is a very familiar face to Glenbardis, our dear, dear friend, Mr. Curry. Uh, give it up for Mr. Curry. The rest of our sound team, thank you guys very much. All right. Join the Voices of East. Take it away, Mr. Knauts.
very, very, very much for coming and uh, hanging out with Voices of East. We look forward to seeing you at the Orchestra Halloween Concert for Kids here in a few weeks. Come check that out. Remember, Glenbard East is meeting outside with parents. Westlake and Marquardt Trinity students are staying here. They'll meet with our middle school students here in a moment. Have a great night. Thank you, everyone.